Hi, I'm David Olson, a volunteer at the Vermont Historical Society. I'm here with a unique tool made by an Italian immigrant, granite carver and artisan. Angelo Ambrosini made these calipers in 1903 as an employee of the Ellis Granite Company in Northfield. The calipers are made of metal. He used this tool to make proportional enlargements from small-scale models to full-size statuary and ornament used in buildings and memorials. These tools could measure parts of his small models and then he used math to calculate the size of that same part on the full statue. In 1903, the E.B. Ellis Granite Company was awarded the commission to supply granite for the construction of a massive $6 million Union Station in Washington, D.C. The station consolidated all passenger train traffic within one building. It was built at the same time as New York's Grand Central Station. The contract specified the use of Bethel white granite and was worth more than $1 million. The architect for the station was Daniel Burnham, who designed the world-famous Columbian Exhibition for Chicago's World Fair of 1893. Union Station was influenced by the Roman classicism of that fair. White granite from Bethel was selected for its resemblance to marble and its ability to withstand heavy use. To fulfill the contract, Ellis needed almost 600 skilled stone cutters and carvers. The enormous building would be 760 feet long and 343 feet wide. Many arches and domes were incorporated into the building. Draftsmen in Northfield had to translate the architect's plans into directions for cutting thousands of stones into various shapes. These calipers helped create one of the most striking features of Union Station, the six giant Roman allegorical figures that stand atop the ionic columns that flank the massive entry arches. The statues were designed by Louis St. Gaudens and carved by four accomplished Italian sculptors, one of whom was Angelo Ambrosini. All six figures were carved from single blocks of granite and stood 17 feet tall and weighed 75 tons. The carvings took three years to complete. Bethel White Granite was also used to construct the Wisconsin State Capitol and the Connecticut Supreme Court Building. What I like about these calipers is that they are a direct link between the Italian immigrants who powered Vermont's granite industry and the significant and beautiful buildings they helped create. Thank you for joining us today. To learn more about Vermont history, follow the Vermont Historical Society on social media or visit vermonthistory.org.